in the spirit of keeping this low budget, I found a pickup bed liner at the dump a couple days ago with a tailgate cover. It's from a Chevy. I'm gonna keep that in there, hopefully. And we're gonna put it into the Jeep. Probably gonna require a little bit of trimming. We'll see. This is how the bed liner lines up with a wheel well. Well, this is kind of cool. Fender to fender. The Liberty is about 46 inches wide. Silverado bed. Fender to fender is 50. That means I don't really have to cut that much of it out. So the pickup bed main portion is in. It's even kind of rounded to fit the contour of the bumper. It's flat and it's level. Thanks to the structural milk crates over here. There's two of them. This is pretty much how it's going to be and where the back of the pickup bed is going to be. Let's start working on the sides. Start with the passenger side first. From the back of the bed to the wheel well is about 24 inches here. On the truck itself, it's only about 12. So I need to figure out how to get 12 inches out of the side of the bed liner. So the passenger side of the cargo liner, pickup bed liner is done. Rough cut's done. You need to rivet it all together. A couple nut certs and a little bit more time with the heat gun to get that corner in and get everything to line up a little bit better. This should be enough room for the cab. Now on to the driver's side liner. The wheel well is a little bit different. The fuel tank is uh, coming up on the left right above the wheel well. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do about that. Here's a full size quarter piece of the Silverado bed liner. Time to start trimming. Figure out how to get it in there. All right, pick a bed liner is mocked up, cut to the right pieces. The plastic trims back on the tailgate. The trim lip is back up. Probably gonna end up putting the rubber seal back on. Just uh, make it a little bit prettier and keep the gate from rattling. Uh, passenger side went in pretty easy. Cut that big chunk out for the hook. The back was pretty good. The corner was pretty good. That corner just needs to be reattached and riveted in place. I cut that piece out and realized that I don't need to. So a couple holes and some zip ties. I'll put it back in. Nuts and bolts are in. 
pickup bed liner is one piece. Sticking out a little bit. We'll work on that. I have a feeling I'm going to be burying them inside the channels like this one instead of keeping up on top of the channels. But I'm going to have to get shorter bolts, like half inch or something like that. We'll figure it out as we get closer, or maybe just leave it as is. Time to get this sucker into the Jeep and see how it actually fits. Got to level that out a little bit. Got a little lip here, so I can load stuff and unload without dumping too much crap into the truck. Of course, a GM bed liner and a Chrysler. Classy. Not sure if those bolts are gonna be temporary or permanent. I'm probably going to replace the ones that are on the bottom of the bed surface with rounded heads just uh, so they don't catch on everything that goes into the bed. This side, driver's side, needs a little bit more heat gun action and trimming a little bit of top. But the bed liner is in, it's usable. It actually closes and opens, and the next part is going to be welding up the pinch welds and figuring out what to do for the side. And eventually I'm going to even box in the back. Not too shabby with free stuff laying around the garage and the yard. <laughs> 